Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Again, we have the data for thermal decomposition of SO2Cl2. We have to find the rate of the reaction when the total pressure is 0.65 atm. Note that we don't have to find the rate constant, we have to find the rate of the reaction. The whole rate of the reaction we have to find and the concentration and the total pressure is given. And this is a first order reaction, we know this SO2Cl2 decompose into SO2 and Cl2 is a first order reaction. Pretty known reaction. So let's write this SO2Cl2 is giving me SO2 and chlorine gas. T is equal to zero. The total pressure, this is 0 and this is 0. The total pressure is the pressure of SO2Cl2 and that is 0 0.5 atm. At T is equal to 100, this becomes 0 0.5 minus x. This becomes, let's suppose x pressure is gone from SO2Cl2. This becomes x, this becomes x, right? If x moles of SO2Cl2 breaks, x moles of SO2 comes and see x moles of Cl2 also comes. So this becomes 0.5 minus x, this is x, this is x. So if you add this total pressure for this, it is 0.5 minus x plus x plus x, right? And that value is given to be 0.6. So we solve this, x is nothing but 0.6 minus 0.5, that is 0.1. If x is 0.1, this becomes 0.1, this becomes 0.1 and this becomes 0 0.4, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4, that is 0.4 AD. Correct. I know the concentration of SO2Cl2 at different point of time. I can easily find the value of K. K is 2.303 by T log of R0 by R, the golden formula. Let's put the values in this. 2.303, T is 100, 100 seconds. log of R0 initial concentration of SO2Cl2 is 0.5 atm final concentration of SO2Cl2 0.4 atm put the values you get K as 2.231 into 10 to the power minus 3 per second but the question will be to find the rate of the reaction so the rate of the reaction is nothing but K into concentration of SO2Cl2 to the power 1 because order is 1. So we know the value of K. Do we know the concentration of SOCL2? It says the total pressure was 0 0.658 atm. Right? We use the same formula which we have seen. If it is 0 0.5 minus x, this will become x, this will become x. So with that, I can find the value of x and I can find the pressure of SOCL2. So let's put the same formula here somewhere. We'll do it here. So 0 0.5 minus x plus x plus x is the total pressure of the system at any given point of time and that is nothing but 0 0.65. So with this, I get x as 0.15 atm. If x is 0.15 atm, the concentration of SOCL2 is nothing but 0 0.5 minus x. Right? So concentration, Concentration of SOCl2 is nothing but 0 0.5 minus x. That is 0 0.5 minus sorry points. Yeah, 0 0.5 minus x. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.15. That is 0.35. So this is my concentration of SOCl2 when the total pressure is 0 0.65 at atm, and that is the time when I have to find the rate. So put the values here. K is nothing but this value you just found per second. And SOCL2 concentration is nothing but 0.35 atm. So you solve this, you get 7.8 10 to the power minus 4 unit will be atm per second. So that will be the rate. Please note in some questions they ask for the rate of reaction, some equation they ask for the rate constant. So just read the question properly. It's a very easy question. Uh, 
reaction is given from A to product with the value of K. From the unit I can make out it is a first order reaction. We need to find the concentration of A after 100 seconds if initial concentration of A is given. So I have A to product. T is equal to 0. A was 1 mole per liter. T is equal to 100 second. A is, we don't know. That is something we need to find. And let this be R. Golden formula for first order K is 2.303 by T log of R naught by R. Plug the values. What is the value of K? This value k into 10 to the power minus 2 per second. Please note this per second is 2.303 by t. t is 100 seconds. Note the unit. Unit will, will get cancelled. If this was in minutes here, then we were supposed to convert into second, else it won't get cancelled. Log of R0 initial concentration is 1. Final concentration is R. Plug in all the values we have plugged in. Find the value of in this solve it, you'll get R as 0.135 and this is in moles per liter M. This will also become M moles per liter. Let me write moles per liter if you are confused. Pretty easy. The next is sucrose decomposed in acid solution into glucose and fructose. According to first order rate law, it is given, it is first order rate law. T half is given. What is the fraction of sucrose after 8 hours? See, to find the concentration of any reactant after some time, I should know the value of K. T half is given, I can easily find the value of K. It is first order equation. Once I have the value of K, you can find the value of concentration of reactant at any given point of time. So let's do that. T half is given, I can find the value of K is 0.693 by T half. Plug in the values, 0.693 by T half is 3 hours. So this becomes 0.231 per hour. I know the value of K. Let's use the golden formula. K is equal to 2.303 by T log of R0 by R. R0 is initial concentration, R is final concentration. K is given 0.231 per hour, 2.303, T is they want after 8 hours, 8 hour R are cancelled, log of, they are looking for fraction of sample, so assuming the initial concentration is R0, final is R, let's find the value of R0 by R itself, right, so R0 by R, if you solve this equation, you will get 6.3. 455. And if you want R by R0 because R is the final concentration, R0 is the initial concentration, this is nothing but 11576. And that is what I have to find. So, so only 0.1576 fraction is remaining after 8 hours. Correct? Or I can say this is only 15%. If you multiply with 100, you get almost 15% is remaining after 15.76% is remaining after 8 hours. And logically, also you see, right, T half is 3 hours. That means after 3 hours, after 3 hours, it becomes 50%. One more 3 hours, that is 6 hours, it becomes 25%. One more 3 hours, that is 9 hours, it becomes 12%, 12.5%. So if you see, we are talking about something in 8 hours somewhere here. So it will be somewhere between 12.5 to 25%. That is coming out to be 15.76%. You can visualize it exactly. Just to confirm whether your answer is almost correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests. Get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.